Hey guys. So for this week's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, two things, I'm gonna tell you um, all about my week, um, which is my training week. Um, so, sorry, my testing week. Um, so during this week, I basically have a series of tests that I put myself through and I'm gonna do it every three weeks. It's part of my training plan. Um, and it just helps me monitor where I'm at and how I'm going. Um, but while I'm doing it, I've actually been inspired by a guy by the name of Bo Miles. I'll put a link to his video um, down below. Um, and yeah, basically his video was he tracks an old railway line um, for like 40 k's. Now, I'm not going to do that. But here in Cairns, we have a whole bunch of cane railway lines. And we have one that runs across the back of my house. And I'm going to find it, and jump on it, and follow it, and see where it goes. I've gone down the back of my house. Um, that's my neighbour's house right there. Um, I've gone down the back, and I found it. So if we have a look, that's a railway line there. There's a tunnel. We're standing on top of the tunnel that runs under the highway. I'm going to have to go around and find the start. Okay, so I found the railway line. Um, I'm about 400 metres down from where I was before. Um, yeah, just running along. Let's check it out. Okay, so these railway lines, um, they're all through Cairns, all through far north Queensland. They're a narrow gauge railway line that's used for um, hauling sugar cane. Because one of the things about Cairns is that all the residential areas mostly at one stage with sugarcane farms. So they've got all these little railway lines dotted around and crisscross everywhere. So my whole idea today is just to follow one. Basically the one at the back of my house, pull it south, see where I get to. I'll turn around and run back. Um, apologies in advance for how shaky the video is. Um, I normally run with a gimbal to help improve that. But, um, the gimbal's not waterproof at all, and it's been raining non-stop for the last few days. I didn't trust it to stay dry while it was raining. actually two tracks. So this is obviously where I would light up the cane back when this was a residential area. Um, I think this area was subdivided about 20 years ago or so. I'm not 100% sure. I wasn't in Cairns then. But um, yeah, it's quite cool to see the history and see you know, how it all links together. Let's talk testing. Um, so every three weeks in my training plan, I have an off week. And um, what I'm going to do, I've decided what I'm gonna do is during that off week, every three weeks, let's do a series of tests, testing every discipline. 
what that allows me to do is it allows me to update the zones that I'm training in and keep on top of where I need to be at. So if I'm improving, I can decrease the zones, make my workouts harder. Um, if I'm not improving in an area, I can adjust and adapt my training program so that I do start to improve a bit more. So four things I'm testing for, actually no, six, but some of them are completely unrelated. So first thing I'm testing for is on the run, the, my lactate threshold heart rate and my lactate threshold pace. That's the pace and heart rate that theoretically I can hold for an hour. Um, that's the one that I used for my 5k training program and I found that really helped me. Next thing I'm testing for is on the bike, my lactate threshold heart rate. I don't have a power meter. I don't have the money to buy a power meter. I don't know if I'm going to continue the bike after this, so it's not really worth it. Just about to cross a major road. First major road I'm crossing. Moving out of Canimbla now into Maribel. So, still following that train line though. So, that's why I'm just sticking with heart rate at the moment. If someone wants to throw me a power meter, hey, I'll use it and test doing that because I'm told it's more accurate. I'm just not prepared for the investment at the moment. Yeah. And to swim, swim testing, I'm doing a thing called critical velocity where I do a 200 meter swim and a 400 meter swim and whack it into a formula. Formula's on the um, 8020 endurance website. And I, um, yeah, that tells me my critical velocity and then I make my zones from there. First test I did was the run test, and um, that tests both lactate threshold pace and lactate threshold heart rate. Um, Garmin tells me how to do that. Basically, what it does is it says go for a warm up, and then after the warm up, it says all right, now run between these zones for four minutes, and then like heart rate zones, and then increases the heart rate zone the whole way long until it senses your lactate threshold and stops and tells you. So, I did that the other morning. Um, I knew this one was gonna go down. I knew the test I'd done before, I, know, I knew that I'd lost a bit of fitness. Just gotta be careful, cross the major road again. It's Balaclava Road, so I'm what? 3.8 k's in and I'm down a couple of suburbs away from where I started but yeah so I was pretty surprised by the results of this test lactate threshold heart rate was the same that didn't surprise me I haven't improved my fitness there I use that for my low runs that tells me my zones for my lower zones for my slow steady runs like this one um, Lactate threshold pace, I knew that would have been slower. It was 17 seconds slower. 
I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah. But it is what it is. Um, I did fall over, I did have a couple of weeks out. Now I've just got to do the work to get it back down again. So it's at 4.16, um, just 17 seconds slower than what it was previous. The test I did was the bike, and with this one, it's just the uh, lactate threshold heart rate, which is theoretical heart rate for an hour. And my aim with this one at the moment is to get it going up as much as possible, because when I first did it, I really struggled with my leg strength to maintain a pace. Um, and every time I've done it since, it's increased. And this time was no different. Went from 151 to 153 beats per minute. But the big thing out of this one that I got was that it felt like I could have gone harder. First time I've done that test and felt like that. So the K's I'm doing on the bike are obviously helping. As you can see, it's just started to rain. Um, yeah, I've turned around and gone home just because I'm about halfway through my run. Um, yeah, these bridges are actually really tricky because I was jogging over them earlier and my feet went out from underneath me and I only went through one. So I'm just going to slow down and walk across them from now on. They're pretty cool though. I, mean, I don't know how much you can see, but they're, they're really cool. And I'm off again for like 20 meters because I've got another ridge. <laughs> They're everywhere. That one, that's the one I nearly fell over and I slipped on it again. I'm going to speed that up so it looks quicker. Um, so the next test was the swim test. I didn't actually do it. Um, yeah, had a shocking night, it's like Friday night, and um, I just didn't didn't think it was necessary to do it. I'll hold that off till three weeks time and I'll do it then. Um, yeah. The other two metrics that I'm looking at are my weight and how many pull-ups I can do. Now, my weight, it seems like a fairly obvious one when you're doing something like this to just track your weight should go down a little bit, ideally. By the time Ironman comes, I'd like to be underneath the 80 kilo, kilo mark. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, might have to make some changes to my diet and stuff to make that happen though. So we'll just see where, where it goes. Um, right now, uh, three weeks ago, I was at 84. This week, 84.4. Uh, this week I weighed in at uh, 83.2, so I haven't lost a huge amount, and that's okay. I'm just building my base fitness at the moment, and I'll see how I go. Um, yeah. metric that I'm using 
his uh, pull-up test. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think just for vanity reasons and for shits and giggles. Um, yeah. So, Hazy, if you're watching, you, you know my history with pull-ups. Um, that's two years ago, couldn't do a single one. When I started, um, I started before the training program. Uh, I could do three. Today, got out, did my test, I did five. Go me, five pull-ups. Makes me feel pretty good about myself. Um, so, I'm just gonna say, I'm not doing any specific working out to improve that. I'm literally just seeing if it improves, and like magic. Um, and it's working so far. Uh, it's raining pretty heavily, so I'm gonna put the camera away for a bit and just finish off my run. Also, feeling the incline, uh, being a railway line, there's just a steady incline. Nothing major, and you just, yeah, just steadily climbing the whole time. So yeah, it's starting to hurt a bit. I'm gonna take the camera away. I'll see you guys when I'm close to the finish. Okay, so as you can see, it's getting a little bit wet. Um, this is so cool. I love riding in cans in this sort of weather. Um, I filmed that bridge earlier. Um, and it was nowhere near that bad. Um, yeah, just coming up to the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm not gonna get to film much more because it's absolutely bucketing down. I'm loving it. Just gonna show you that view. Like, that's what it's like at the moment. Um, the path is absolutely soaked. Um, I'm having a ball. Splashing around. Uh, have fun. Thanks for watching, guys.